the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Special guest in the studio, no. everybody. No. Here for Fringe World. Such a thrill. Such a thrill. Tom yes. Gleeson. Hi, Tom Gleeson. Hey, Tom. Thanks for having me back. It's great to be here. Did a show last night. Did you? And uh, got heckled oh. um, by an audience member. No. And uh, at the end of my show, I always invite people to tell me what they did and didn't believe about the show. <laughs> yeah. Someone yelled out uh, <laughs> that you're 49. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, could be an insult, could oh, be a yeah. compliment. Massive compliment. How did you and take I, it? Well, yeah. I said to him, I said, well, how old do you think I am? And then he went, 49? <laughs> He was the most gutless heckler I've ever faced. I know. Ever. He, just, he, he had a shot and then just walked it straight back. Yeah. You don't respect that either. No. You don't respect no. that. We're talking, about how you're all a, in. we're talking about how you're a lovely guy, but I, the thing I love about that is... Shut uh, up, mate. <laughs> yes. That. That. That's what I love about it. He's a lovely guy, but he's got the, he's got the insult pistols ready to go. They lock them loaded. And I'm he's got lovely. the bullet just for you. Yeah, good on you. Yeah, I'm really lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I get yeah, yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Tom, I love the fact... <laughs> that the ABC have actually made a funny promo oh. for your show yes. where ev- you're just riding your bike and everybody's screaming hard at you. Yeah, that's based on my life. That's what happens. Yeah. Yeah, pe- I get yell- people yell hard at me all the time, Yeah, uh, which is kind of, I don't know, you could you could argue as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> you could. Yeah, especially you early in the morning. It, hey? <laughs> <laughs> when you're just trying to go about, yeah, you know, go to the post office and you know yeah. go about your business. Yeah, well, people may have seen the promo. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm trying to go about my holiday and people are yelling mm. hard at me and it's mm. and, a, and it is a good promo and the reason it's a good promo is because our production company made it and the ABC didn't. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. So we made that it and we, we gifted it to the ABC <laughs> and they said thank you and that's why it's the best promo they've ever had on air. Well, surely they didn't pay for it. I'm sure they would have no, been. No, no, no they no. didn't. I'm paying for it with this tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many, Go and see him. How many, because you've been doing your Australia tour as well. Yeah. Which, like, you're going to Adelaide. Over. You've been yeah. coughs up. I'm You've going to Adelaide. I've already... I've, some people think that I come to Perth yes. uh, just to warm up a show. That's what I was going to ask true. you. Like international artists often yeah. start their world tour yeah. in Perth. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he doesn't. He comes over here and performs because he feels sorry for us. That's <laughs> right. It's a charity case. <laughs> <laughs> but other, no, international artists often come here. Often the musicians are reading the lyrics. Yes. You yeah. know, because they haven't learnt them yet. Yeah. Not me. I started this tour in Newcastle, in New South Wales, yep. in June. Yes. That was the dirty cloth that I polished up this gold on. Yes. I'm come, I'm here locked and loaded. This My show's turd ready is to so go. so polished it's not funny. It, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a five-star turd ready to go. Talk <laughs> about five-star. You are, I think we all agree, you're A-list. He's yeah. A-list. Oh, yeah. You're, you're, you're a list oh, You're a gold, Australian. gold Logie winner. I'm Celebrity. as A-list as you can get you without are. being papped. Yeah. Because <laughs> so, I'm on the ABC, I'm pap-proof. Yeah, that's oh, true. Yeah, so okay. that's no, true. there's no paparazzi following me around because they, you know, who, who's going to look at the picture, you know, unless they try to get Daily Mail yeah. into retirement villages, no one cares. <laughs> Are you always hoping those so that you're holding an interesting book and drinking drink yeah. one of those green juices? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 and they're caught? Oh, you've how got your Stanley Cup ready no, to go. I mean, uh, yeah. you know, if, if I get papped one day, it'll be it'll be mowing my lawn like Tracy Grimshaw when they used to get her <laughs> mowing the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the right on. So, look at him. He's <laughs> mowing his lawn. So do you live uh, what, Do you live any part of an A-list lifestyle? Because we any know part. that, yeah, we know a lot of people, they, they lean into it, you know? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm yeah. sure Delta Goodrum you know, leans yeah. into it. What, what's your laugh like? What, 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 you, what, what, are, you, what are your life choices? What are your oh, life I choices? Not, I just, there's nothing to my life that's A-list, really. I mean, I've got lounge access at Virgin. <gasps> but even <gasps> that, I mean, that... But even that annoys me. I should be in the President's Lounge. That's a, that's a point. I go to the Virgin Lounge and it's selfie central and not yes. once does a staff member tap me on the shoulder and say, come with us, there's a better room to go to. Yeah, right. And I've asked for it and they don't let me in. No. And it's annoying. And you know they let in? Backbenchers and senators. People yeah, no, one, no, no one knows no, who they no, are. No one's going to bother them. them. They could, you know, they could go into general population. It would be fine. Yeah. You know, they could be out at yep. the terminal. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Mm. We're on the phone. Remember, we're going to Canberra, right? To um, go and have dinner at the lodge with the prime minister. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, um, we don't, the we prime barely minister, bring it up. he could be out on the <laughs> terminal. No one getting, care. Getting food. All, 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 the, all the backbenchers and all, the, all these politicians, yeah. they were losing their mind that we were actually having a private dinner. They said they've never been to the lodge and all that mm. sort of stuff. So it's, it's true. Why do they get? Virgin yeah. access. It's unbelievable. And no. I've seen them sneak into the door. There's mm. a little sneaky door at the yeah, airport where you just is. sneak in. Really? Yeah. And I tried it. <laughs> I thought I might as well. You never know. I yeah. might have been given entry yeah. and, and I forgot. Know. I tapped <laughs> I it. Forgot. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah. 
and, he and, finds and, and it someone, hard. Yeah, someone, <laughs> someone behind me said, getting a bit too bo- big for your boots. <laughs> I'm like, piss off, mate. <laughs> Tom, um, all the shows we get to see you do on telly are fantastic, but would you rather do comedy and stand-up? Oh, well, it's t- fun is there a... Th- well, it's fun doing stand-up live because you can say whatever you want, yeah. Yeah. I find. People say you can't say what you like anymore. But I found you can. can. Well, you can say whatever you like so long as you're prepared to live with the consequences. Yeah, right. And yeah. I am. Yeah. 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 So I can say whatever. <laughs> you don't care. One day someone's going to film a bit of the show and, yeah. I, you know, and I'll be, be fired. Yep. I, and I don't <laughs> yeah. care. <laughs> Louis C.K. is fine. Do you know, know what I mean? He's... All that stuff he did. You'll get and back his, out there. His career is still going. I put it to you that I'm cancel proof. Yeah. Yeah, I there you go. That's a right. challenge. <laughs> yeah. I did read an article the other day the suggestion that cancel culture will be cancelled soon. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I think Do you think we're getting too woke for our boots? Well, Bill Cosby's touring. So. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> Bill Cosby what? is touring. Is that legit? Or not? No, he's, that legit? Out, he, he's, he's been touring a live show, yeah. And yeah. people are going. People are going. Yeah. Women aren't going, are they? Oh, it's men only. <laughs> you'll, be, I'll just like, you'll, be, you'll be covering <laughs> your drink. Yes, men yes. only. <laughs> drinks covered. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, we're going to get you to hang around, Tom, if that's okay with you. You got yeah, anything no else, anywhere else to go? No, no, no. No, no. this is it. No, this I'm doing it. some other radio stations, but they're pre-recorded because they're lazy. <laughs> Tom Gleason's in town performing his show Gear at the Heath Ledger Theatre. Yeah, yeah, yeah the weekend's classy. pretty much sold out. Oh, so if so you want to come, come tonight yeah. or Thursday. Or tomorrow, yeah. yeah. Did right. the gold loading like you really affect ticket sales? Uh yeah, I think it did mm. because I won a lot of fans on that night who had never heard of me. Because so <laughs> a lot of people thought, I have no idea who this person is, but, geez, I like their attitude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, one of those was not Amanda Keller, I take no, it. Have no. you kissed and made up? Oh, yeah, yeah. We've, mm. we've long since made up, and, mm. uh, yeah, it's it's all fine. We've had a, we've had, had a peace offering. Oh, it was it was one of the most joyful things to watch all the celebrities get angry and say yes, you're making I a know. mockery of the Logies. Like, it's, it's, like, it's like, like mockery of the Logies. The Logies is a mockery yes, of itself. It's, so it's a parody, well, it's, surely. it's not awkward anymore yeah, for me because um, Amanda Keller doesn't get invited anymore. <laughs> so, so I've, where, I've survived. Where do you keep the Logie? Where is it? Oh, it's just in my office on the desk. Uh, yeah. You know, so because when I'm just working away, I look at it every now and then and just remind <laughs> myself how many people I pissed off <laughs> and, and that I've done a great job. Great. So You've done a great job. We've been talking about uh, comedians seem to go rural, yeah. which is quite interesting. Mm. You yeah, because we had Lawrence Mooney in here the mm. other week and yeah. he was living up in the Highlands and yeah. um, uh, my she goal was... W- and Ross out of Noble town. was Ross another Noble, one. Who yeah, was on some land. Out of town. Yeah. Now I don't want to tell everyone particularly exactly where you live. So you do live in a, in a lovely country town, but oh, everyone knows it's okay. Romsey. Okay, yeah. Romsey. Yeah. Oh, everyone in the town knows where I live oh, too. Well, They're like, he lives there. <laughs> well, well, of course you live there because you live next to a, a landmark. Tell everyone what you live next to. I live next door to a pub. So <laughs> you live unbelievable on the, on the main street. <laughs> on the main next street. Next door to the pub. Next door to a pub. It's the Sean, best. Sean, can you imagine? Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine the missus just yelling out. I know. Yeah. <laughs> From the pub. Yeah, just yeah, come home. Dinner time. <laughs> no, well, my... I'll be home after the last. I'm fine. My wife's usually at the pub drunk as well. I was well. going to say, so, so Sean. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's so close. Sometimes I want to drive home <laughs> as a challenge. <laughs> but it's so close I can eyeball the fact there's no RBT between me and the house. <laughs> I, you know, I could probably drive through meters. the back fence and it's like a non-private land the whole way. Are, are you there all the time? Uh, it, it's a bit dangerous, yeah. 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 I hold a lot of meetings there yeah, right. with yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I used to Staff live up, just yeah. over the road. I used to live in a townhouse right next door to KFC um, oh. and then I'd smell the KFC breeze come through, which would be beautiful. But I would get into my car, go down to the garage, get in my car and go through the drive-thru. Yeah. My balcony overlooked the drive-thru. Oh, no. Yeah, so... But I'm looking at the menu. This is nice. Yeah, I love the menu. Yeah. It's a great The Bronzy Pub. Imagine what's the go to then? Okay, what's the go to on the menu at the Romsey Pub? Oh, me, I usually go to steak. Yeah, good. Right, so I always get steak. It's pretty boring. I find myself ordering it more than once a day. Are you, are you a medium fish. rare kind of guy? Or? Yeah, medium yeah, rare. Yeah, yeah, good, good. good. There's, there's a Love four, and I feel it. There's a forty two dollar steak, a fifty six, a fifty, and a fifty two. You go the fifty two because you're a list. Yeah, mate. I just go. I go the expensive one. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just got to rub my wealth in people's yeah. faces. <laughs> and what, that's <laughs> how you win yourself He's over on to a fancy country ABC town. money. <laughs> uh, what's, what's yeah, and then I remind everyone that it's taxpayer funded. That's where the money came from. And I point out to the whole town, all your taxes are paid for my steak. <laughs> Worship me. Anyway, they love me in my town. What sauce do you go for? What sauce do you go for? Peppercorn sauce. Oh, oh, I would too. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. It's, always, uh, it's always... Tom, at the local pub, do you, ever, do you actually play the drums? 
Yeah, I do play the so drums. So you ever play at the you ever played at the pub? Well, kind of because I've got a drum, drum kit like. in my house, and if I leave they the window, open, <laughs> technically I'm playing drums at the pub. Right? <laughs> they need to put a sign outside the window now performing. <laughs> <laughs> put a bit of chalkboard out in front of the house. Yeah, uh, Parappa pum pum. <laughs> <laughs> how did you get into comedy? Over the journey, we've met a lot of comedians, and they yeah. all seem to have been lawyers at some stage, right? Yeah, the, the, or they you, did you at a university because they were, you know didn't want to be a doctor. But you're yes. a maths guy and a physics yeah, guy. Yeah, I, I did a science degree and I started doing comedy there. But I didn't I didn't start I wasn't one of these lawyers who moved into comedy. No, I just yeah. I was I was already pursuing something that I liked. See, all these lawyers who become comedians, they 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 become they, they hate themselves doing law and then they sure. hate themselves as comedians. <laughs> right. I'm different. I'm, I'm quite happy with myself. <laughs> I hope myself doing anything. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's a great attitude. <laughs> Bloody oath, mate. Mm. Uh, well, go and check out Tom's show. He's great. We love him. We do. Um, Thank the you. show's called Gear and it's well honed <laughs> now. He's figured yep. it out. It's all good. State Theatre Centre, so Heath Ledger Theatre. Um, tonight, Thursday, tickets at uh, comedy.com.au. Weekend sold out. Don't even bother. Shut up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so popular. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Why yeah. are you even asking? <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Tom. Thank it's you, always Tom. a pleasure. It's the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hey, guys. Um, There's a very ins- important day today. Somebody is turning 70. Brian, Brian, Brian. 70, eh? Brian Morris. Brian, Brian, Brian. 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 Happy Brian, birthday, Brian. big fella. Hey, Brian. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. You couldn't let me sleep in. He's in bed. Oh, as, if I, 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 as if you haven't been listening. Oh, when I rang him about five minutes ago, he was in bed with Marlene. Oh, hello. Well, yeah. it is his birthday. An early serving, eh? Yeah. Does Dad do anything yeah. Does Dad do anything special for you, Dad, in that room for your birthday? Mum, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Mum, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just got out of bloody bed. Did you? Oh, wow, he's shattered. <laughs> he's Can't even make his way to the shops, mate. Yeah. yeah, he's going to go put something on the bite marks. Mm. Hey, Brian, happy birthday. That's a, it's a milestone time. Mm. Are, are you going to celebrate with a big party? What's happening? No, I'm not celebrating. Oh, oh my God, can I tell you, right? Yes, please. So, okay, think about it, right? Mm. So I've said to Dad, well, do whatever you want to do. 70th, mate. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and no, Dad, Dad's not interested. He doesn't want to have a big thing. He mm. doesn't really want to have anything. So I've told him that I'm going to send him and Mum to Bali a little bit yeah. later whenever they want to go. A really lovely trip. But I said, what do you want to do for your actual birthday? So on Friday, we said, well, let's go out for lunch. Because yep. Dad wants to go out for lunch. But he doesn't do things after Think l- about it, right? Midday. Everything in <laughs> Perth, right? You've got, you've it won't got, take long. You've got everything in Perth. Great yes, restaurants. Yes, you can choose yeah. anywhere. Yes. You can go, see yeah. the yeah. river. Yeah. Dad has found the place that he wants to be, and he is so excited. Dad, why don't you tell them where we are going to be having lunch on Friday, and he is obsessed. Go. In a caravan park. That's right. <laughs> you want to go to a caravan park to have special lunch? You Karen, Karen Up Waters. Karen Up Karen Waters. Up Waters. Karen Meg's Karen there. Beautiful. Meg and Peter at Karen Up Waters, oh, okay. my cousin. And mm. Dad went there the other day and he rang me afterwards and he, it was Disneyland to him. Mm. He was like, should see it. There's a pool area for the kids and there's a lake. Oh. And he said, the whole thing's beautiful. And Dad, the cafe, you were blown away by the um, Karen Up Waters cafe. Yeah, well, five minutes down the road, and it's unbelievable. I've missed out in this haven for a long time. <laughs> did you, the did you check out the menu, though? Because those cafes yeah. are normally mm. you just go in and you can get a coffee and maybe yeah. po- a possibly sandwich. a sausage oh, every, roll. Everything's on the menu. Lamb shank, any. Lamb, lamb shank. Oh, I do like a lamb shank. Yes. Brian yes. Morris, yeah. you are living the dream. Look at you go. Seventy yeah. years of well, age, take, though, Brian. You, you need to celebrate this hard, mate. <laughs> yeah, oh. take your tent. You need to celebrate this hard. This is great. It's a big time oh, yeah, of your I'll life. All right, yeah. I'll go up the Karen up. Yeah. We <laughs> have a few friends. cans this afternoon. I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> good one. That's a good one, Brian. That's what's like genuinely funny. No, you'll walk up to Karen up today. So everyone, all of his friends at Karen yeah. up, can you please get the birthday. Brian's birthday parade ready? Yeah. <laughs> he'll, be going, he'll be going to Big W. He'll be going to the chemist. I hadn't made a drink since I turned 70. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, it has been seven hours, so well done. I reckon well that's a lie. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great Thank day, you mate. very much. No worries. 70, 70 yeah. is a good yeah. innings. I might get him um, uh, a week's stay at the caravan park, which is five minutes away from his house. Why don't they move in? I know people have gone up there from my way who have gone up there to stay. Mm. They it, love it. It looks amazing. Mm. Anyway, so there you go. 
Brian Morris. Brian Morris. 70 Morris. years on this planet. What a gift to the world. I know, isn't it just? My brother Rodney too. It's his birthday today. Natalie. Happy He's birthday, Rodney. How old is Rodney? Wow. 58 today. Still yes. farming? Oh, farming harder than ever. Sean. Really? <laughs> farming hard. <laughs> Don't you worry the lo- about the that. locks farm hard. And, okay. they, and they don't stop. So, because yep, my dad stop. is 85, mm. still farming. What yeah. a champion, John Locke. Yep, Go hard, yep. son. Don't worry about that. The Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. Well, we know that some schools went back on Monday, just yeah. a few, and a few went back yesterday for you in year 12 or if you in year 7. Yeah, a lot of the private schools went back the first couple of days, but now. Everybody's, Everybody's back in. to school today. So, uh. What's that like? <laughs> What's that like? Because, like, your kids, it's like, get ready to go back to school, right? Yeah. So your kids aren't getting ready. Your kids are just waiting for you to get everything ready. Yeah. So, 100%. really, you're going back to school. Yeah, you are. You are. And I know for most parents would be bash and crash this morning because it'll get up in a panic knowing that yes. they haven't got the school uniforms all sorted out. Yeah. Something needs ironing. And certainly that there's something they've forgotten, whether it's a part of. Uh, yeah, the book the order. Book or, order. Yeah. Well, or the thing new is, pair of shoes. Um, back in our day, our parents were weren't really attention to detail, nor no. did they care about no. having anything ready. There wasn't the pressure ready. on it. There wasn't the pressure yeah. then. Yeah. I do remember many a morning my mum of the fir- of, of the first day of school would be contacting a book while I'm crying, screaming, there's bubbles in it. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's got the pee and then she's trying to get the bubbles out. And she's like, you got to go to school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can imagine, yeah, because yours would need to be perfect. Cause you're perfect. Yeah, yes. of course. Yeah. Mine was just... Oh, you're yes. like an dogs, aero bar. Dogs, right? Remember, remember like. the kids that used to have their books covered in brown paper, like lunch yep. bag paper? Yeah, I had yeah. that. Did yeah. you? And, yeah, that, and the, the little, the, the little they just this book belongs to yeah. tags out of a magazine. They came out of a magazine. Oh, yeah, like the woman's yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Family <laughs> circle. I reckon the other thing is that, um, you know, days out for the last couple of days, all you're doing is bringing out your yeah. your bloody visa card. It's yeah. just getting well, an absolute our producer, pasting. Our producer, Amy, she's got the day yep. off today because uh, her youngest, it's his first, first day. Um, but and, and, you know, so the both kids are off to school. But she was told 36 hours ago that um, the youngest one, whereas previously, her daughter, this wasn't the case, they shared everything, but the youngest one, everything had to be labelled. Oh. So everything, every, every pencil? texter, every yeah. pencil, every, every tiny little thing had to be labelled, and they were given 36 hours notice. It's so, like, yeah, no, I said Amy's, that Amy's husband was panicking with um, the old school system, which is um, a pencil, he'd get the knife yes. and he'd cut the end of the pencil and then he'd write the name on the flattened wood. Mm. Which is what we used to do as labels, but now it's yeah, we've got one of those label gun things. But it takes yeah. a million years. Yeah, but yeah, now it's label makers with kids, a beautiful font. If your kid's name is Sam rather than Genevieve, do you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. it's, a, it's a much quicker exercise. So, do you think there are uh, parents up right now that are in a bit of a tailspin because oh, they sure. are under the pump to get something ready? For yeah, there'll be some sure. last minute First panic. day at school, they've forgotten something. They're under pressure. We want you to take some time out from that pressure yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, give us yeah, a goal. Yeah. So, are you currently knee deep? egg sandwiches. Yes. Is it a mad <laughs> rush at your place? Is, it's it's egg sandwich. is anyone uh, contacting a book right now? Yeah. I tell you what, no one's making an egg sandwich. You know, yeah, I mean? the right shoes. <laughs> yep. Can't find the school uniform. Oh uniforms. my God, are you now realising the reality of the fact that you have to get up way earlier because mm. some people have a hike to mm. drive. They yeah, do. Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we're going to give somebody something great. Six tickets to Adventure World Ooh, Nights. That's nice. right, away from the kids. <laughs> Think Adventure Worlds just for kids. Check out Adventure World Nights. Tickets at adventureworld.net.au. All right, what's the last minute yep. panic yep. about? Are you under the pump? <laughs> yes, give us a call. Hi, Hi, Chelsea. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, what's the panic about, Chelsea? Um, so I got a call at 10 o'clock last night from my sister who lives in Kalgoorlie. Mm-hmm. I've had her over the school break. She's left her school stuff here. Um, I've had to drive all the way there oh, this morning. Are you joking? So where are you right now, Chelsea? Um, I've just dropped it off and I am in about Coolgardie. <laughs> so you're coming Chelsea. straight back again? Yeah, I've got work this afternoon, so it's like, okay, I've got to go. <laughs> oh, my God, Chelsea. You are the best Whoa, sister you're ever, amazing, Chelsea. Chelsea. You went straight to Calgary and are coming straight back. That is so amazing, you, So you drove all night. Basically, when she called at 10 o'clock, you got in the car and drove to Kalgoorlie. Yep. Well, think she about it. stuff, so... There's, there's no other way to do it. Like, there's no career service that no. would take... I mean, you'd pay through the nose for that. Mm. <gasps> Chelsea, Chelsea, you know what you should have done while you're in Kalgoorlie? You should have gone to the bloody uh, the, the lotto news agency yeah. in Kalgoorlie and Boulder and bought a lotto ticket for the Powerball. 
Oh, shut Turn up. Turn around. Turn around. Hey, in Coolgardie, there'll be a news agency you'll be able to get no, one from. The, that's not the lucky one. I know, yeah. I know but mm. yeah. just no, in the area. area. <laughs> yeah, you're going to stop in Coolgardie, you go to the camel farm. Um, Chelsea, <laughs> drive safe. <laughs> okay, you're a great sister, though. Caitlin, hello. Hi. Hi, Hi Caitlin. What are we panicking about this morning, Caitlin? Well, numerous things. <laughs> what uniform do they wear when they have two different sets of uniform? You've mm. got your formal and your sport, and like I have an I don't own an iron, so <laughs> I'm leaning towards the sport uniform, and then a broken lunchbox. Oh no! Because we we find out the day before at nine o'clock at night. Oh no, my lunchbox is broken. Oh. Yeah, yeah, of course. Awesome. <laughs> what year? What and year then, are they going into these kids? He's going into year six, so his last day of... Oh, primary school. Primary school. Yeah. Wow. Oh, he's a big boy. Wow. And, and yeah. So his last day of primary school. So let's go to his lunchbox, because back in the... Uh, when they're earlier, they're all Spider-Man and all that sort of stuff, mm. aren't they? Like... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so what's the vibe with his lunchbox these days? Yeah. Well, it's, they break every day, don't they? Well, because mm. all I see is all these parents posting up. photos of yeah. their school lunch and they're all in these fancy bento boxes yes, yeah, now. Yeah. Mm. Like three layered with like a little compartment for nuts. Oh, and probably not nuts. You're not allowed to have them. No, yeah, 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 no. yeah, yeah. Cut up apple and stuff, Nathan. Yeah. I get it. No, nah, it just, yeah. It just depends what level you go I to. Mean, Kate, but you want to keep it as simple as possible. Like you would be very, you're not going for colours and stuff like that. It's oh, just no, plain. You yeah. don't want to cause a scene. Yeah, um, Caitlin, it. well done on getting to year six without an iron. I mean, I can't believe yeah. you. Fair yeah. effort. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With, it's, if all else fails, sports uniform will get you through. Yeah, it will. It will. Do that. Through the first day anyway. Does girl, girl skirts these days in schools have a lot of pleats? No. No, they no, wear only sports high school. these days. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, yeah. we came from pleat yeah, we territory. Had, yeah, we were in pleat town. Oh, my God, if you didn't have nine. No. Oh. Good luck. Um, thanks, Caitlin. Jodie's in Beldivers. Hello. Hi. Hi, Hi Jodie. Jody. You sound like you've completely given up already. What? Um, what's the panic about this morning? I forgot to get my son a backpack for his birthday of kindy. Oh, it's oh, oh kindy. Is he, is, he gonna, is he turning up to kindy with all his stuff in a green Woolies bag? Is that what's going to happen? <laughs> He's got his sister's um, mini mouse bag. No, that's worse. <gasps> luckily, that's worse. luckily, the kids don't judge at that age, really, do they? They don't, do they? Everyone's yeah, going like, to get whatever. beaten up the moment he walks in. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, full on. They just see a mouse at that age. That's <laughs> Sean that's going to beat him up. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's been <laughs> Jeff, they're all flush. What backpack does he? What backpack does he want, Jody? He doesn't care. Oh, but doesn't he just wants he? his own. Wow. Yeah, he wants his own. Yeah. Are you, so you're heading straight down the shop as soon as it opens, so you've got him right for tomorrow? Yep. Yeah, okay. Mate. Mm. Okay. That's, that, a, that's a fail. Well, that's no, a mum no. Fail. What it is, make sure you get his photos, because when he's later, he can talk about, complain about you about how, look at my mum, that look is how great terrible point. she is. Yeah. It doesn't seem like they're big on the detail in that household. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> We've got six, six tickets to check out Adventure World Nights, by the way. Think Adventure World is just for kids? No. Check out AW Nights. Tickets at adventureworld.net.au. How right. good was Chelsea driving to Kalgoorlie, team? Right. She's unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's unbelievable. coming your way, yes. Chelsea. Well done, Chelsea. Drive safe. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.